new at 5.30. If you asked what Miami Beach is known for, you would say, what, the beach, mm -hmm. Ocean Drive, yeah. the, the nightlife. Lots maybe, of things. Would you say handball? No. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Who knew? All right, but handball apparently was big at Flamingo Park until the courts there fell into disrepair. Maybe that's why we there haven't talked go. about it much, but now the city has refurbished them to their old glory. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn takes us there. It was, it was like my dad was bigger than life playing this game. These handball courts in Miami Beach once showcased some of the best handball players in the country, including Shepard Coster's dad. He was so amazing to watch, and I had a front row view from the time I was a, you know, wee little lad with my brother, and we just, you know, we were so proud of him. Powerhouse Abe Coster won the 1972 Miami Beach Handball Tournament. He played nearly every day after work driving buses from the 1970s to late 90s. All we knew was that our dad was this, you know, this big guy here. Everybody loved him. Turned out later, yeah, he was. He was kind of legendary himself. He played with all the legends on that plaque. It was the players who helped to make the courts a well-known staple. People come here just to to find uh, players on the court and play here. Over the years, the courts deteriorated. I mean, the floors were corrugated so the ball wouldn't bounce correctly. At its peak, it took an hour to get a court. Now it's hard to find players. I hate to say it. It's not as popular. There's a chance the old allure may come back. Yeah. City of Miami Beach just recently completed resurfacing of the courts, added new lighting, and improved drainage. The courts are like new again. It's all about you know short steps, quick you know movements, being where the ball is going to be. Very strategic game. So all you need to play the sport is a proper handball and then you hit it so that your opponent can't return it. The passion for some have spent decades. Some of them will be out here to pass it on. But don't think they'll take it easy on you. In Miami Beach, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.